What's up MMA fans? Welcome back to MMA Ground and Pound, the YouTube channel with all the latest MMA news. Sean O'Malley Professional Dancer Sean O'Malley dancing at a special needs event is all you need to see today. Fans of O'Malley love to see this side of him. Do you enjoy seeing the goofy side of fighters as much as we do? Let us know in the comments below. Alexander Volkanovsky and Israel Adesanya spar with Zuck. Alexander Volkanovsky and Israel Adesanya are training with Mark Zuckerberg. As long as that's under you. Okay. I can stay stable. Yeah, so if we put ourselves off balance, we're gonna fall. Okay. Time he trains, and also, like, I put it on him. It was kind of like a crash course in fighting. So I was coaching him as we were going along, and he was a smart man. I'll tell you, he's a smart man. I was impressed with afterwards. He's like, I think I'd be done with him. He's like, Israel, can we go another round? I'm like, mm. sure. I, I wasn't, like I said, I wasn't being easy on him. So I was like, he wants to go again. But yeah, he's, he's a gamer. I like that. He's tenacious. Is Zuckerberg still training for his potential fight with Elon Musk? What are your thoughts? Comment below. Cheeto Vera claims USADA testing is flawed. Cheeto Vera says that the USADA test is easy to beat. Vera says it all comes down to money and a good doctor. I think there's a lot of people taking it I, because it's so easy to beat you, Sarah. Yeah. You need like timing. You need no. You, you need like twenty grand. Call a good doctor. Boom. A good doctor will give you good products. He will tell you how to clean yourself. Oh, it's okay. You said yeah. it only comes 6 a.m. till 6 p.m. I can go to the fucking mountains in Ecuador and tell them I'm hunting and I'll be doing EPO and shit. By the time I come back, there's nothing on me. After hearing this, how many fighters do you think have cheated the test? Comment below. Dylan Dennis versus Kevin Holland. Dylan Dennis and Kevin Holland have been going back and forth on social media. It all started when Dennis posted this. If I go to the UFC, give me an easy first fight. I'll take Kevin Holland. When Holland caught wind of Dennis's call out, he then posted a screenshot of Dylan being choked out by a bouncer. Captioned, get in line bucko. Maybe we can get you a rematch on Dana White's contender series against this guy first. Win that and Dana might just give you a contract to the big leagues. Things are just starting to heat up between these two. Keep tuning in for updates. If you like our videos, make sure you hit the subscribe button so we can keep them coming. Demetrius Johnson impersonates fighters. Former UFC flyweight champion Demetrius Johnson took to his Instagram to poke fun at some fighters. All right, Izzy. Sean O'Malley. Dummy Cruz. Habib. Habib. Sudo. <laughs> Strickland. Oh. Poor air. McGregor. <laughs> Money Mouse. Could you guess those fighters based on his impersonations? Comment below. Manel Cape shuts down Israel Adesanya's apology. Manel Cape and Israel Adesanya went at it at the UFC 293 press conference. If you missed it, here's a little clip to get you up to speed. Unfortunately, that kind of friends is a bitch. A fucking bitch is in front of me. And you are fucking guilty because Sunday, this is gonna be get murder. You know? Yes, yeah, stand up, motherfucker. Stand, stand the fuck up, motherfucker. What's 
want? What you want? What you want to? What you want? All right, yeah, yeah. Shut the f down. Sit Shut down. Up, your thing is with Shrika. Sit the f down. Sit the f down. Shut the f down, yo. Shut the f down, bro. Sit the f down. 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 What the f? It's just what? Sit the f down, yo. Look at this little midget trying to f with me. I will f embarrass you. you are. Tied to Ivasa looked like he really enjoyed being between the two during their very heated argument. Shut your mouth. Hey, hey, I'm hey, here, I'm here. Hey, calm the f yeah, that's I'm, not the fight. You leave the little man alone. I'm okay, Fuck I'm okay, I'm okay. I'm okay. Even John Anik was ready to throw down. After the press conference, Izzy apologized to Manel backstage, but his apology was rejected. When asked about the apology, Cape had this to say. After all the talk, he came to me backstage and said, Hey, no disrespect. We are Africa. We're brothers. I said, We are not brothers. Look, my problem is with Kai Kara, not with you. Why did you stand up? He can handle his business. Believe me, if he's in the street with no cameras, I'll eat you too. You're a man to back up your words. Because you're just one man. You're tall, but I'll eat you in the streets. Believe me, you don't know what I'm capable of doing. He backed down again, asked them what he said to me backstage. No man, no size. I don't fear them and I'm undefeated in the streets. I expected it. Because they're just acting. The difference is, I'm not acting. I'm not acting, I'm for real. These people, they're not built like me. Where I come from, what I handle, I'm different than these people. He knows. He don't want the problem there. A street fight between these two would be a crazy sight to see. Let us know your thoughts on this beef below in the comments. Sean O'Malley next fight. Sean O'Malley confirms on his Twitter that this fight in 2024 with Cheeto Vera is fake news. As much as O'Malley has expressed the interest in fighting Cheeto, the current bantamweight champion says if it does happen, nothing's been confirmed as of yet. It looks like we'll have to wait a little longer to see Suga Sean defend his title. Do you want to see a fight between these two go down? Comment below. Islam Makachev vs. Charles Oliveira Islam Makachev and Charles Oliveira go head-to-head -head for the second time on October 21st. A very confident Makachev had this to say about the rematch. Maybe next this fight is gonna be something different because the last fight I took zero damage and you know I don't feel some I don't feel the power from the Charles. Maybe he changed something. I hope. I'm gonna break him. I'm gonna take him down, make him feel the power and he understand. When Charles feel the pressure, power, he give up always. It's not secret for him. The last time the two fought, Islam defeated Charles by submission. So we're interested to see how this rematch plays out. Let us know your thoughts below in the comments. And that wraps up the news. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button to catch all the latest MMA news. Here are the top comments from our last video. One fan said, Alex Pereira is so funny. I can't believe Glover ate a wet towel. And another said, 051, that killer smile. If you want to be featured in our next video, all you have to do is comment below.